lot of the products that I'm going to be showing you today do not include any chemicals that disrupt hormones, cause cancer, cause birth defects, and the list goes on. So today we are in my bathroom. I'm going to be running you through my morning skincare routine. I'm going to be showing you each product that I use to cleanse my skin. Skin. At the end of the video, I have a little tip that will help making this transition to non-toxic products a bit easier for you. So definitely hang around until the end of the video. So let's get into it. This is the Earth Sap face wash. And um, this is about 85 Rand uh, on Faithful to Nature. And here are the ingredients. You see the ingredients are really simple. Yo, simple. Simple. And um, emphasis on kind to your skin. I squirt just about that much. Rub it in my hands and now I'm just going to... Now that I've washed my face and it's nice and squeaky clean, I am going to show you the toner that I use. So for my toner, I'm also using the Earth Sap brand. Again, um, completely biodegradable. No synthetic fragrances or dyes, no petrochemicals are not tested on animals. Can we get an amen? Um, ingredients, water, cane, alcohol, glycerine, tea tree oil, aloe oil, parsley extracts, vitamin E, and canola oil. Uh, so I love this toner. It comes in at about 90 bucks. This one is one that I would say finishes a bit more quickly, but this, I promise you, is a really good product. So I just take some, put a couple of drops on my hands, and then just pat it onto my face nice and gently what i actually just put on my face is not that tea tree toner but it is just a mix of apple cider vinegar um a drop of tea tree oil and some water i did start out by using that toner which is why i showed it to you but then i was just like you know what girl um save a buck and make your own toner and it's been working really well for me going back to the tea tree earth sap toner i really love that one when i did use it because it was really light uh if you are using a conventional toner right now when you put it on your skin you might experience like a little bit of a burny sensation and that's because of the alcohol and i think that alcohols are used in toners because of the effect of like drying out any impurities on the skin but tea tree oil serves that purpose without the alcohol because tea tree oil is antiseptic and it is antibacterial it means that it's actually going to go straight to the cause on your skin and start attacking that bacteria that causes those acne spots to show up Okay, so the next product is a serum. For my serum, I use this by the Balance and Brighton Serum by the Apothecary. Um, it's made just totally of essential oils. It is about like 120 for this small tiny bottle. But let me tell you, this thing has held me down for months. I love this product because it's super like light on the skin. It's not a heavy oil. You only need to use a couple of drops. It just adds like a luxurious layer of moisture to the skin and um, it smells really good. I'm not going to be putting this on now though because I only use it at night. So the next product that we're going to be taking a look at is my day lotion. So for my moisturizer I use this The Everyday Cream by The Skin Creamery. Honestly you guys, this is the best uh, skin moisturizer that I've ever used in my life. I'm not even being dramatic. Here are all the ingredients. Quite a lot but like... Just off the jump, you can see that um, there's jojoba seed oil, there is like cocos nucifera, however you say that, which is pretty much just coconut fruit oil. So there are a lot more ingredients in the other products that I have mentioned, but this is all non-toxic and super good for you. So this 100 milliliter bottle comes in at about 250, and um, relative to the other products, it is definitely more expensive. But it's absolutely worth it. I usually put on about like this much. I just take that little bit and I pat it all over my face. I love this cream because it has a really natural fresh smell. It's like really hydrating but it's not heavy and it doesn't make your skin greasy. I use this soil organic grapeseed oil at night to moisturize my skin and also as a carrier oil for my tea tree spot treatment. It's 100 milliliters at about 65 rand per bottle. 
This has lasted me months, honestly. When I have my natural hair out, I also use this to moisturize my hair. The reason that I chose grapeseed oil for a face oil is because it is like the cheapest one. One. Secondly, it's non-comedogenic, which means that it doesn't clog pores. With oils that clog your pores, it causes extra sebum to be formed by your sebaceous glands. And if you have oily skin, you probably know all about sebum. Sebum is basically like the oil that is on the face. Even if you have dry skin, you have a bit of sebum to, you know, just like protect the outer layer of your skin. But when pores get clogged with excess sebum, that's what causes the acne. And right now, if I'm going to be totally transparent with you, I am breaking out a little bit so let's just zoom in here you can see my spots here and what I usually use to spot treat is a mix of my grapeseed oil and tea tree oil it dries up your pimples without drying your skin it is really effective at calming the inflammation so these like this redness around spots and stuff is inflammation and tea tree oil is really good at calming that down but you can't just put raw tea tree on your skin you have to put it through a carrier oil i'll show you how i do this i put about four drops into my palm just like this one two three four then i take this um tea tree oil so i bought this tea tree oil from clicks i bought it literally like over a year ago i still have more than half the bottle i only put about a drop drop whoops there we go then i mix it all together in my palm here and then i just like choops, choops, put it on now um this is not like it's not a magic pull that's gonna work overnight. You do need to apply it quite consistently over a couple of days. If you have sensitive skin though, and then when I whatever is left, I just put it on my hair. If you have sensitive skin, you might want to put a lot more drops of tea tree. I don't have sensitive skin, so it doesn't really like irritate my skin. Make a mix of it actually in like a glass bottle or something. Put like 15, 20 drops with one drop. Of tea tree oil mix that up and see how your skin reacts to it all right so that is the full non-toxic skincare routine all of the products that i've bought except for the tea tree oil i bought them on faithful to nature which is just www.faithfultonature.co.za everything that you put on your skin counts it really does count for the health of your skin the health of your reproductive system it impacts your ability to have children if we're constantly using these products that are laden with toxic ingredients in them and some of these ingredients also have the ability to cause cancer now you might be thinking that okay like this is just lotion i just put this on once a day but the thing is you put it on once a day every day and your skin is really porous it absorbs everything that you put on it and all of that stuff goes into your bloodstream there are particular chemicals that disrupt hormones that cause cancer that if you're pregnant can cause birth defects that can actually impair your ability to get pregnant all of this stuff is serious these companies that produce these products are not telling us about these things so we have to do the work to learn for ourselves as I, I made all of these changes in my own life so when it comes to picking products i personally go by the philosophy of keeping it as simple as possible trying to know every single ingredient that you should avoid in a product makes life really difficult look for products that have very few ingredients so that if you do find something that like you're like Ooh, what's this I can't even say this you can google it now just to add on to this there is a resource that is really helpful in terms of checking out ingredients on your products it is the skin deep by the environmental working group this is basically just a database of every single skincare ingredient that has been studied by research they rate the ingredient on a scale of like safe and non-toxic to like stay away very toxic so in this video i did not go too much into the whole what specific ingredients you should be looking out for to avoid in skincare products but if that is something that you would like to see from me please let me know in the comments below and as always you know what it is please go and check me out on instagram i'm at i am 